Okay, so back here in Umanak, West Greenland, talking about the glacial history of this place. Uh, this prominent peak here, Umanak uh, Peak, uh, heart-shaped mountain carved out by glaciers. So imagine uh, this whole space from near the mountain tops there, um, flooded with ice during the last glacial maximum 25,000 years ago. Um, the ice sheet, the inland ice is there. Um, there's the peak at Ikarasak, similar uh, landform as this, you know, incredible uh, Umanak Island. So the Ikarasak um, horn uh, there is, it's sculpted as the ice is moving out this way towards the west. Again, uh, flooding this enormous fjord with an ice stream as recently as about 20,000 years ago gives you a, a sense of how quickly the ice can evacuate uh, a place like this, how, how quickly the ice can respond to abrupt climate changes. Um, so I wanted to point out uh, this, this landform here, uh, and they're just everywhere. Um, notice, so the ice is, is coming this direction. Um, and this this landform is a small example of, of what's called a, a, like a drumlin feature. So it's it's smoothed off on the opposing side. The ice is dragging rocks, boulders, sand over the terrain and and, and smoothing it down. And um, on this opposing face, uh, the pressure is the highest, and you get. Um, the pressure melting point of ice uh, goes goes uh, down. So you can melt ice at lower temperatures when it's under extreme pressure. So what happens is the ice melts on the opposing face and then trickles around uh, through whatever voids to the, the, the rear face of this. Notice how it's uh, steeper um, and that's because uh, the, the water that's flowing around, it, then the, the, the pressure is lower on the, on the lee side here. And, and so the, the ice, the water can refreeze and pluck and, and tear away any loose uh, rock from, from that side. Um, and you see the same landform just just everywhere, and and you see it at different scales, at, at uh, small scale here, and you see it at the scale of of the mountains. Uh, so, for example, Ikarasak Peak over there is uh, steeper on the downstream side than the upstream side um, because of this uh, effect, uh, so-called plucking. Uh, so. Uh, you know, the, the natural environment is like uh, a textbook that, that we can read with a little bit of knowledge about glacial history.